Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and guys, 10-0-0, 10-0-0, that's all I have to say. Today we're taking a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs goaltender Jack Campbell and his 10-0-0 record over the past 10 games. We'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, Want to see the latest news around the NHL, especially before the trade deadline? Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. And let's take a look at Jack Campbell. So Jack Campbell, we're going to go back in the time machine here. He played at the University of Michigan growing up in Michigan, born in 1992. He was a draft pick in 2010 in the 2010 draft, selected 11th overall. By the Dallas Stars. Projected to be the next great goaltender in Dallas. And Jack Campbell became a bust. We obviously know how things worked out in Dallas. Things didn't go so well for Jack Campbell. Uh, he didn't end up becoming that elite, you know, next goaltender in Dallas. And we've obviously seen how things have worked out since then. They brought in Ben Bishop because Jack Campbell could not be that guy. And, and they've obviously had a change of direction, which Dallas did end up working out. They went to the Stanley Cup final last year. So things have worked out pretty well for Dallas, but Jack Campbell was left in the dust. He ended up going overseas. He ended up coming back to play with the Los Angeles Kings, put a career together, but just really couldn't get it going where he wanted. And then the Toronto Maple Leafs bring in Jack Campbell from, from uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs bring in Jack Campbell from the Los Angeles Kings and all of a sudden, Jack Campbell, who really for the first couple of years in Toronto was just a backup goaltender. But all of a sudden, now at 29 years old, Jack Campbell is showing what he showed in his draft year back in 2010, over a decade ago. Jack Campbell has all of a sudden helped the Toronto Maple Leafs on a huge playoff run. Freddie Anderson goes down with injury, and it looks like it's the end for the Toronto Maple Leafs, who had such a great start to this season. And then Jack Campbell comes in and completely negates the goaltending situation. Now they still need to add a goaltender, hypothetically, especially at this year's trade deadline, especially if Freddie Anderson is out long term. And we've seen that Jack Campbell has struggled in the games that, you know, in a back to back situation. But he's still finding a way to get wins. 10-0-0 this season for Jack Campbell. And you cannot deny that right now he has been playing very well. And again, the Leafs have a pretty solid defense. But let's be honest, they're known for their offense. So this is no, like, you know, this isn't like he's playing with, you know, the superpower defense in Tampa Bay. No, he's got, you know, and this is not to take away credit from the Leafs defense. But this is not that same caliber defense as maybe even in Nashville or Tampa they don't have that great of a defense, and Jack Campbell is playing very well. And we've really seen him become the goaltender that, over a decade ago, the Dallas Stars were hoping to get. And maybe he isn't that same goaltender, he's not this elite goaltender, but he has shown now a little glimpse of what he can do. And could he potentially, with Freddie Anderson's contract ending this summer, be the heir to the throne as the Toronto Maple Leafs goaltender of their future? So... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think of Jack Campbell, now the starting goaltender of the, the Toronto Maple Leafs? Do you think this is the long-term solution for the Leafs, or do you think they will look elsewhere this summer, and this is just a storybook ending to his career? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, like I said, especially before this trade deadline, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.